Hi everybody! So, it has been a while since I made a proper video um, with correct editing and all that stuff. And so, what I did last week, I, uh, the, I made a, a quick video about it, is that I made my own computer, I've built it, it works, it's good. But I don't have enough space. Um, I'm actually a little bit crazy and I have three operating systems onto the computer. I have macOS, Windows 10, Pro and Arch Linux. So I use macOS for everyday usage and for Xcode. Windows is going to be for games and video editing and Arch Linux is going to be for my school that I'm going to start in a couple of months. So I don't have a lot of space because of Windows games and I have like 30 or 40 gigabytes left onto my Windows partition. So what I did is that I got a 250 gigabyte SSD. So I'm going to partition this drive onto two partitions. The first one for macOS backups for Time Machine and second, sorry for the middle finger, <laughs> second for Windows games and for video projects. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to boot onto macOS to format the disk with an HFS partition and then after that I'm going to reboot onto Windows for the NTFS partition. Okay, so now that I am on the Mac, I'm actually going to open up Disk Utility into the Launchpad. Then I'm going to select my hard disk and so what you want to do is to click on the erase button, give a name for the macOS partition, keep the format and scheme as normal, macOS extended and then GUID, then click on erase. Then once it's done, click on done, and then click on partition. Now click on the plus and now we have two partitions, one for Mac, one for Windows. Select the Windows one, on the on the left and then you're going to change the format now the format we're going to choose is going to be x um, x fat which is a bad bad file system because it's made for usb devices and sd cards but we're going to change that onto windows then give it a name whatever the name is going to be in my case i'm going to put abc then click on next or yeah apply partition wait for it to be done because it may take some time and then once it's done just click on done now we have the partition that we made into xfat but we're going to fix that onto windows and so now i'm just going to go into windows to fix that okay so now i just rebooted off mac os i'm going to clover the boot manager so i have arch linux here i have windows and i have mac here so obviously I'm going to boot Windows because I want to have my NTFS partition. Okay, now let's go on to the screencast. Okay, so now I booted onto Windows. So if I go onto um, this, this PC, I see that there is the drive. And if I go into uh, the, pro the properties, I see that it's an XFAT system, which is not good. So what you want to do is to open up the start menu and look for disk. And you should find something like create and format hard disk partitions. If you cannot find it, just go into the file, file manager, right click on this PC and click on manage. And then click on to disk management and you're going to get the same thing. Okay, so see, so, so this is the drive that I want to use. So this is the partition, the EFI partition that OS X automatically makes on all the drives, which I think is super dumb, but anyway. This is the hard drive for, um, this is the HFS partition for Mac. Every time macOS creates some, uh, some blank space between partitions, which is dumb, but anyway. And so this is the drive, the, the partition that we want. So I'm going to right click, Format, I'm going to give a name like um, Boom, disk name goes here NTFS, yes, default for the allocation unit size Quick format, yes please, click OK, yes, everything is going to be erased And boom, there we go, now we have a 110 gigabytes NTFS partition that is ready to be used 
Okay, so as you can see, that's the end of the tutorial. I'm not going to turn into a tutorial channel, don't worry. I mean, I hope, at least. So yeah, I think that was pretty easy. Yeah, just go into macOS, format the drive, make a new partition, make sure that it's XFAT, reboot onto Windows, and format the XFAT partition as NTFS. And now you're good to go. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for the next video. And yeah, see you next time.